morning, YouTube. I'm here with the Eddie Horvath. Good morning, Marky. Good morning. And this is a somber day. It is the 20 year anniversary of 9 11. And um, I remember where I was at. I, I, was, I was five months into my employment at the airport. And I remember hearing there was a plane that hit the World Trade Center. And we think it was just a little Piper Cub or something yeah. like that. And then we really figured out what was going on. And, I said to one of my co-workers, I said, this airport will be closed before the end of the day. And sure enough, I think we were on total lockdown before noon. And it was just such an eerie day. Um, anybody that works in an airport, uh, if you're out on the ramp where the planes are, it is just the most noisiest, everything going on, machinery running. And the end of that day, you could hear birds chirping. Mm -hmm. and, Shut her down. And then all you could hear is a couple military planes off in the background. Um, all the firefighters in New York that lost their lives. Uh, thank anybody that's a volunteer or a paid fireman, uh, police, any public service, military. Uh, thank everybody. Yeah, look, because look back and remember. Yeah, don't don't ever forget. Um, but 20 years. Well, we made it to 44,100 subscribers as of today. And that's some. And I'd like to thank everybody for subscribing to our sure. channel, supporting our channel. And please like it and share it. And if you don't like it, send it to someone you don't like, just to annoy them. <laughs> but uh, so, what do we got going today? Oh, we're gonna so saw a mantle piece or two, and yeah, not not much on the uh, cut maybe list a piece today. of locust. Yeah, I got a piece of locust I want to cut up uh, for my ramp going up into my my uh, bar. It's uh, I put spruce down in 2014, coated it with some. Uh, outdoor coating and it's still it's still solid but it's getting close to needing replaced so we'll cut some deck boards for that and then uh, maybe we'll jump back into some cherry before this is all over oh yeah we got enough of that to saw and i hope we have voice today um yeah the, the plug on this gopro i don't know what happened but every once in a while it'll act up on me and uh, i had to do a voiceover on thursday mostly everybody was very accepting of it and i appreciate everybody watching the video um hey technology it's great well, we're not going to get nothing done by sitting no. here drinking coffee, so. Let's go Let's get, get a couple of logs here. All righty. Let's get this show started, and I hope I am recording vocals as we speak. And we're going to be sawing up a little piece of mantle stock, and then we got a bunch of cherry to saw up got a little bit of everything to do today so only way we're going to get it done is by doing it so let us bring up our first prize log here yeah my coupler on my hydraulic it's like a uh, I guess you call it like a uh, torque converter type of device. And until it gets warmed up, it just makes all kind of racket. But it goes away pretty quick. That's right, that, I'm thinking that was 10 foot long. I think it was nine. Yeah, it's making a heck of a sound. All right, what I need to do here is I need to pick my face, which will be the live edge portion of this panel. And I'm thinking that's looking pretty darn good there. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll dog her down. And I'm gonna try to sneak two out of here. I don't know if it'll work. We're not trying to really recover nothing off of this. Just uh, open her up. Not what we need out of it. It's not a great log.
There it goes. Come on, get back there on the top. There it goes. That'll work. get two out of here or not, I don't know. I'm not thinking it's going to happen. I'm going to go right down to my eight and a quarter and just see if we get. Nah, we're going to get one out of it. Which don't matter. Pull some sheeting off till we get there. This log is ugly. Okay, now what we gotta do, we're gonna get to the width of the mantle before we go to the thickness. It'll make it a lot easier in the end here. So I wanna take a good look here. So we'll go ahead and reverse the knees a little bit. I'm actually liking that face bit better. That face. I'm just trying to get Eddie's opinion on this. Yeah, that looks like a nice face for a live edge. So, what we're going to do, I'll bring this up a little bit. We're going to take it down eight inches and a crook log just makes a challenge on going something like this i just want to dog it down loosely i'm going to leave it a little bit fat Then he can trim it himself. So we're gonna do now. Sorry about the camera. We got things going on here. Alright. Now we're gonna get down to the final whip. with a little bit of sand and that's close enough. Then I'll have his four by eight mantle. Enough of that nonsense. It's a favor for a buddy of mine. And you gotta do that once in a while. Alright, let's start with cherry. Let's get on the cherry pop here. That should line up pretty good. This is not a nice little log, but we're going to make it into a nice log. Oh, let's throw that 
bad face to the knees. Open this bad boy up. This could be some nice cherry. I gotta, I gotta get my set back here again, so bear with me here. So used to sawing, uh, so used to sawing the one inch boards. So I got five buttons on my uh, one control here. I gotta cue that up a little bit better. And I hit the one inch instead of four quarter. Alright, now we're back to where we need to be. Yeah, I don't want to ruin a good board. It would have been too thin before quarter. Yeah, people have asked me in the past, what is four quarter and is one inch four quarter? And it's not. Hard to market it. Oh, we're gonna get a bunch of... This is not gonna be a pretty log by any means, but we're gonna cut it anyway. this a little bit here all right what did we put on our mill people <laughs> uh, well they got, they're gonna get sold one way or the other so get past that rot. This isn't worth sawing. But we're not even going to pull nothing out of that select wise or anything. Let's put the other face out, make some cribbing out of it or something. We're just not having a good day here. It's all junk, it's all junk. And we gotta get past that rot. Let's take another. Man. 
baby. Now, if this was a good log right here, you'd be rolling it to another face because you'd be worried about uh, losing your FAS. There's wormholes in it, there's ant holes in it, there's... Oh, we're going to whittle her down to four inches or so. And we're going to make two four before it's out of it. take it down to four. I'm not worried about anything at this point. Just make some dunnage. Yeah, he got the idea. <laughs> Don't get all jammed up in there, it didn't. All right, four inches. Good enough. Well, let's try to get a little better log this time. And the old bark's laying down on, the, on my knees. Here's another banana log, John. The banana nana. That is a banana. But oh, we got ways to fix that. So, what I always do, my method, don't know if it's right or wrong. I like to saw the bow out. So, we get rid of that first. This tree got a lot of rot in it. I'm not worried about that little bit of a heavy cut. It looks like we'll get a decent piece out of that. We'll take one more board. We're going to shove that back to the knees. And we'll get rid of the inside of the sweet. Hydraulics are finally starting to warm up. Hear the old hissing sound, sounding good. There we go. Not bad. 
blokem. And we'll take another clear board off. hoping you're hearing me right now. <laughs> I don't know that so I edit the film, but I'm pretty sure you'll hear me. Alright, let's lay this down and start peeling some other faces off. Setting a little taper out on that front one. And again, you gain it here, you lose it there. But I think his face might have some promise to it. It looks like a nicer. Oh, good. That is a pretty board, Eddie. Uh, sometimes they will go crack on you. I've had a couple of these do some really crazy things on the carriage. Put the taper away, put the dogs in the house. sat for a little while but cherry does very well on the ground that'll be a nice one face board there No matter what I do to the other two faces, now they turn into a select. So I'll tell you what, let's get some, uh, let's get some nice five and a half inch boards off here. Even though they're not going to be FAS, they're still nice. And nice boards. Keep cutting four by fours out of the centers of these. Just useful to have at a sawmill. Every time an order goes out, people usually snag a couple to leave on their trailers to load. Look at that, overlapping them for Eddie. All right, let's take this down to four inches. And I still got a better face on her, that's why I rotated it.
Tschüss. Trying for that saw not to break through, but when you can pull veneer off there, it's pretty much telling you your, your mill set up pretty darn good. takes a couple minutes to do it this way but in the end we end up with something we can use oh sorry about that Eddie all right we'll give you one more log and then we're gonna go to serious work then we're gonna film your Friday video how's that sound then we got another banana no, 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 no. All right. That's not too bad of a banana, but we're going to treat it like the other ones. Kind of got a double banana going, so I gotta go around one more time here. Let me see how it behaves here. Oh, we're gonna go with that. Get that rod off of there. the same thing as John does with his handset mill. Even though you got hydraulics and everything, you sort of want the log to be sitting there kind of relaxed on its own. Things just seem to go better that way. We're just doing this reverse how I normally do. But when they got a lot of severe crook, the reason I do them the other way is because you're only going to be touching your middle knee. And you'd be relying, oh, what happened? It moved. See that? That's exactly why I do that. You got to see it. But we'll recover it off the other side. It had some crook in it, but it had a lot of crook in it. They got red rod in there too, I'm seeing now. Looks like a little red rock going on. That's a shame. It's a disease the tree gets. That happened when that tree was alive. It doesn't happen from sitting. And if you're gonna buy any amounts of cherry, boy, you better be real careful what you pay.
This is a lot of worthless lumber here. All red rock. It's not even worth firewood. I mean, it, it's just, it's punky. get a board or two off the outside before we get into the rod. That rod's coming up really quick here. Four by anyway. All right, let's go for the other face. Maybe we get a couple boards off it. It got that split in it. Put our dogs in. going on in this log. Started out with sweet. <laughs> oh well. Let's take her down to four. Cut that other rock face off and put this little guy to bed. talk to you in a bit. All right, let's add some wood. And I take the extra minute to set this on here. And uh, tells me where the saw is going to make the cut. We go eight inches and send it. trying to get past some of this rot.
just a beautiful fall day. Enjoying this a little bit. This stuff with the red rod in it, but it's, it's really solid. So I don't know, we might get away with it. Here's a banana. Banana, banana. Oh, we'll try to get nine out of it. Yep. Give you some multi cam here. I'm trying to learn my editing a little bit better. Oh, this could be a little bit wasteful here, but. You have to do a lot of sawing to get many like these. Oh, we can cut this one down a little bit, so I'm going to try to increase a little bit. Yeah, we're trying to get past all this rock. And now I don't have a laser for this. So 10 inches out of here. be a little wasteful too but we'll get a seven inch board out of it oh go for six Leave that one alone. And we're gonna take off we're gonna nine inches. We're gonna take one off of it. This fence is four inches. So my major has four inches built into it. It's got a lot of rod in it. Take it. We get six anyway. Now you can hear a little different sound. This thing might not eat. I don't know if it'll feed these or not. Double cut, we're gonna find out. There's locusts. A little harder. I get nine inches out of that. Yeah, nice job. Beautiful job. Thank <laughs> you. 
already didn't cut them up. Cousin Eddie. Oh. I can straighten these back up down the shop. Right, we made it and you know what that red rot I never seen that uh, turn into solid it was uh, yeah, it's, uh, more stain than, yeah and uh, most red rot is pretty much uh, funky. yeah it, you can put your finger down there through the board and uh, it's it just wasn't that way but you can see how fast cherry sitting in the Sun and this is you know this is under cover and everything you can see the lower boards versus what we've been sawing here and how bright they are when they come out of the log so you know it don't take long for that cherry to turn to a nice mahogany color and uh it uh hey it's noisy out here today. yeah we got airplanes and cars yeah, we got airplanes we got people we got people right. beeping at us here a lot of stuff goes on up here but uh, Glad to see Cousin Eddie show. Yeah, Cousin Eddie, he was a big help. He brought uh, he brought SpongeBob with him. So, yeah, my girlfriend got me that, Abby. Oh, there you go. So that is, it looks like the sun. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Like it, it matches the Edmonston. The, yeah. It, it's sort of. <laughs> the, 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 yeah, the the, the Edmonston camouflage. yellow. There it is. Yeah, the but camouflage. I don't know if you can see all of us here or not. There's Eddie taking his mm -hmm. coffee and. So everybody have a great week, and I think we had audio today. I don't know. If not, you'll see a lot of this. Yeah, no country music. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. Oh yeah, that, that struck a nerve. So. Uh, no disco. Oh yeah. Well, no, we don't do that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we we did some bluegrass one day, and uh, I think I ruined a lot of people's day. We offended people. Yeah, we did. I don't yeah. Know how, so but... everybody have a great week. Thanks again for watching us, and we'll see you then. Thank you. Mm -hmm.